Hi, I'm Tony with Timeless Cottage Gifts, and I found these ice cream cones at Walmart in their craft department, and I'm going to show you how I painted them. So I made this little sign for it, but you can do a like a strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, and you can even do you know other colors, a blue raspberry or whatever you want to do. So you take this and you apply the all-purpose sealer. And what I did is, I'll make the pink one. So I took toffee for the bottom and a poodle skirt pink for the ice cream. And now I'm going to take a darker color you can take like asphaltum if you thin it out, or you can um, just take a dark color, like a darker brown. But I wanna make sure this is pretty thin. I'm gonna take the, my uh, 3 8 inch uh, faux squirrel from Dynasty. I'm gonna go into the darker brown or uh, the asphaltum, or you could use the raw umber and just float right under here to separate the top of the cone from uh, the bottom of the cone. Now I'll take my um, my script liner. This one's from Chris Hoy. It's my favorite. And I am going to take that thin asphaltum or um, raw umber, whichever one you want. I'm saying raw umber because I use that for the chocolate. But this one's thinned, and I'm going to just um, put in some lines. Now you can, if you want to follow the lines, there's this, um, this chalk pencil, Bowen, and you can draw the lines down so you have something to follow. whichever way you want to do it. And then you know exactly where you're going. That one's kind of squiggly. Then I'm going to dry that. And then you can take your chalk pencil, or you don't even need one. If you don't want one, you could just draw the lines on with your paintbrush, however you want. You don't have to be that picky. I've made them where they were wider before. I just think the most important thing is making sure if you're going to do this line, the lines in this dark brown, just to keep it really thin. Okay. And I'll dry that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a really tiny shader. This one is in one eighth inch. This is also a Chris Hoy. And um, I'm going to shade the bottoms of the lines in this direction and this direction with the cocoa. I dip my brush in the water, tap it on my paper towel, get the corner with, um, with your paint and then move it back and forth to spread it um, back and forth. Then after you get the gradient you want, you start shading the bottom.
And then on the other side, since you went that side, now the bottom of this side you would do. Um, now I'm going to take some light buttermilk, put it on my palette, and I'm going to do the same process that I did with the cocoa on the top. So right here, here. Just by swiping my fingers, I got it. Here. Okay, and then I'll dry that. And now the top of the other side, which is going to be here. I'm going to dry that. Now I can go back to my 3 8 inch angle brush and I'm going to go into the cocoa. Dip in the water. water. And I'm going to go right here. Sides. Sides. And then. And we'll come back to deepening the shading in a little bit. Right now, as you can see, 
the cone, the ice cream has different, um, different curves. So I took one. Well, this one's going the other way, so I'm not going to be able to do exactly that. So I'll just follow it um, from where I think it should be. So I'll take a curve and I'll put it right here. And one here, one here, and one here. I might even go all the way across, but I'm not sure. It depends on, you know, what it starts to look like. So I'm gonna still use this brush, but now I'm going to go and get the bubblegum pink, which is darker than the pool skirt. And the same, dip the toe of my brush in the pink paint and then work it back and forth on the palette. Get a nice gradient of color. And I'm going to follow that from here and here and just deepen the shading. Highlight on the top of these lines with, I'm gonna do pink chiffon. You can do white. Do pink chiffon or white. Pink chiffon is a very, very light pink. Or you could do a super light pink. You can. You could even take your um, poodle skirt pink and mix it up with white, and get a very light pink that way. Let's see how this turns out. I'll start. I'm gonna start at the bottom. And I need to dry that. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go back into my cocoa and deepen my shade on my cone. So I'm gonna go right here.
can go into my Thin Dash Faltum or the Dark Dark Brown. I'm going to deepen my um, shading on my ice cream. I want it to get And I'm going to dry that. Okay, and now I'm going to go into my darker pink, my um, bubblegum pink, and go up this side, which is the left side. And go up this side, which is the right side, with the pink chiffon. And I'm going to take this uh, Dynasty brush. It's a Dynasty 200 dry brush. I'm going to go into the buttermilk paint, the light buttermilk, and take a lot of it out on a paper towel. And I'm going to dry brush the center here, lightly and dry brush the center right here. And then if you'd like, <clears throat> I, I like to, you could put glitter on it if you want, or you can put just glitter on the bottom, on the cone, whoops, there. This chocolate has just glitter on the cone, but not on the ice cream. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I'm just gonna put the glitter on the bottom. And what I use is extreme glitter. Take your brush. Make sure this isn't wet though. I'm gonna dry it one more time. <clears throat> and I've got an angle brush and I don't want to brush it a lot. I don't want to get it some glitter stuck in, you know, places I don't want it. It has a tendency to do that. And there's the ice cream cone. Like I said, you can do chocolate. And the color I used for chocolate, let me get my notes. <clears throat> the color I used for chocolate was milk chocolate, sable brown, and raw umber. For the vanilla, 
I'm gonna try it again with a lighter, co uh, lighter color under here. But for the vanilla, I used light buttermilk, antique white, and snow white. I might try and get a lighter color than antique white because it's kind of a brownish color. I like it, but I wanna see if I can make it a little bit better. For this blue, I used Bahama blue, peacock teal, and white. Um, it could use a little bit more white. And uh, for the pink, of course, I uh, we went over that. Poodle skirt pink, bubblegum pink, and pink chiffon, or white, whatever you wanna use. You can get one of these signs. I've got one at the Dollar Tree, and I just used tape. And um, I taped it off. What's kind of tape? I used this, the blue tape. I taped it off. It's what is it? Like a half an inch, half an inch tape, and just taped it off. I I uh, stenciled some words I found on my Cricut, um, and I just this is just a rough one, but and then you could put an ice cream cone on it. You could put it in your kitchen. It's kind of cute. Whatever flavor you want to put on there. Or you could put all three flavors on there. You know, like the Neapolitan. That was Neapolitan. It's pink in the middle. Wait a minute. I don't remember how it goes, but and then, you know, have an ice cream cone sign. It's kind of cute. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.